Alright, hello and welcome to another episode of Atomic Martian Toy Reviews, your weekly dose of toy news, reviews, and all things geeky. I'm Matt. Jason. Jay. Alright, let's talk about some toys. Uh, first thing up, we have some previews. <laughs> previews! Alright, first up on the preview doc of the day, we got the uh, Thor movie series. I think this is Wave, or, uh, yeah, wave 2. It's going to be the Destroyer from the movie, and he's a part of the uh, 3 and 3 quarter inch scale Wave. Uh, and it looks like he's going to have a light-up chest, and he'll be out in May of 2011, so that's May of this year. <laughs> but no, so yeah, he looks alright. I mean, I was never a big fan of Destroyer armor in the comics. Really? Why not? It's kind of boring. Well, okay, you know what? How is it boring? Well... The comics is slightly better because of the spikes, but it still just it seemed kind of boring to me. I don't know, dude. I don't think you... I'm allowed to have my opinion. You are, you are allowed to have your opinion. I would disagree... But at the same time, I haven't really read enough about Destroyer. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll be the first to admit I've never been a big Thor fan, so I can't say much yeah. about the character. Now, this is the anything. Fire Blast Destroyer, so are they making other Destroyer? I would assume they're making multiple Destroyers. And I guess kind of maybe one. that'd be neat if you had like Fire Blast and, and Semi Destroyed, but. Um, that'd be cool. Yeah, now this wow. is three and three quarter inch scale, so but he'll still be a little bit larger than the Thor figure. Yeah, and the price point for this is a little bit more too. I think it's around fourteen bucks, twelve to fourteen. It's probably one of those deluxe figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah deluxe three and three quarter inch scale, Marvel Universe scale. But it should so. be coming out within the next month or so. Mm-hmm. And um, there's plenty of Thor figures out mm -hmm. now, so um, he should just trickle in with all those. Uh, you can yeah. buy as many Thors as you want and have an army of them to be destroyed by the Destroyer. <laughs> there you go, just line them up and... <laughs> yep. There it is. Cool. It sounds like a fun it's Friday afternoon of, to me. It's yeah. our way of saying you'll do until Captain America comes out. Yeah. I don't know, I think, I think Thor's going to be pretty I know. Awesome. The more and more I see the trailer... It's got mixed really reviews. Good. Yeah, it's, it has it. Yeah, it's gotten some mixed reviews. Some people don't like what they did with the plot, but... I guess the people that don't like the plot are the people that like Thor. Yeah. So if you're yeah, not really a big fan of Thor, yeah, then you don't exactly. really care. It's probably going to be one of those things where it's like, oh my god, that's not how it happened in the comics. You guys did it all wrong. Yeah. I yeah. can't believe I came out of the base for you to see this movie. Freaking <laughs> Spurgosaurus Rex sitting in the front row, like, bitching the whole time. And everybody else is like, it's a cool movie, asshole. Yeah. Sitting there with his Thor helmet and hammer in hand. Uh, yeah. I, I'm going to skip it. I think uh, X-Men's probably going to be the first uh, action action or like first day. comic book movie or whatever yeah, 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 see the summer, summer so. no, that's cool I think I'm gonna go catch, I might catch it next weekend okay cool well if you like it that's well, your I'll choice know. and I'll respect it mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 just like I respect it when you told me you were gay <laughs> what <laughs> it's on camera everybody knows now that's <laughs> <laughs> right yeah anyway <laughs> All right, next up from Toy2R, we have Domo Series 3. These are two-inch keys uh, of Domo, and there's a pretty big s assortment of them. These are blind boxes, so you never know which one you're going to get um, until you open it and everything, but I don't know. There's a bunch of really cool ones in there, so what do you all think? I dig it. I always like Domo. I think he's super cute, so and I like the fact that like I can see like a little strawberry Domo and um, blue Domo. I like. I just like it. I think it's cool and funny. Watermelon demo. Yeah, I like tuxedo demo myself. You know, he's he's dressed to go out. You know, nine or it town. could be like a, a tuxedo shirt since he's there to party too. You know, he wants to be fancy, but he likes to party. Yeah, or watermelon demo. But yeah, I, I don't think. get demo. I don't right. understand it yeah. at all. He's like you walk in Japan, dude. You don't need to get it. He's just cute, and you gotta accept it. And he goes nom 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 nom. <laughs> it's just like it's just like you walk going yup yup e. Yeah. Okay. I like Domo. I think Domo's awesome. So. Hey, that that's cool. But yeah. Yeah, you kind of have to. Not for me. Either be a Domo lover or Domo hater. One of the two. You know. I guess I'm a Domo hater. Yeah, he's kind of he, he's like the the male version of Hello Kitty for me. I think. Yeah, I think he yeah. really is. He's yeah. the male version of Hello Kitty. He's yeah. the he's the Hello Kitty for men. He's you gonna yeah. see like women gonna be like, oh, I like that sexy Domo tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Yep. It's me and Domo riding off into the rising sun together, huh? He's a little schoolboy at heart. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a pretty cool tattoo. Just get your chest. <laughs> Just the a, nipples be yeah. the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the nipples be the eyes. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> this is where the food goes. So you take your stomach and push it in and go, nom, 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 nom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> 
Anyway, these come out, um, I think this month, I think at the end of um, any time, yeah. I'm pretty sure April or, or maybe even May, it might have been delayed, but, um, so, you know, you can check online, um, and I'm sure some select stores will have them, so definitely check them out. So. Nom, 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 right. It's contest time. Here we have all the names from our T-shirt bordello contest. For this contest, what you guys had to do was go to T-shirt bordello, pick out a shirt that you thought looked really cool, yeah. and then yeah. post a picture of it to our Facebook page or on our Twitter account. Mm -hmm. And these are all the names, for all the postings. Yeah, thank, so, uh, yeah. Thanks everyone for entered. Um, there's a, a pretty good amount of interest in this okay. one. A lot of people entered. A lot of people had fun finding a shirt they liked and everything like that and I had fun seeing what shirts people liked so yeah, yeah. everyone pretty much picked a good one so you can tell a lot about a man by what t-shirt he wears yeah yeah you can tell I like Twinkies <laughs> yes. yes speaking of t-shirt bordello yeah. you can buy that shirt at yeah. t-shirt bordello <laughs> yeah yeah no oh, there's no shame all of our plugs are shameful yeah. yes. alright I'll do a drawing alright close, close your, your eyes, eyes. okay that's the first time I heard that Close your eyes, just reach in, baby. <laughs> All right, there we go. We only got one. We and got the wiener one. is Tyler McCabe. All right, Tyler. You are the winner. You're the winner. Golf Congratulations. Play. Now it's time for reviews. 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 All right, first up we have Skeckletor. From Half Bad Toys. Now this toy was uh, designed by Stephen Pat, and um, it was made. It was manufactured by Half Bad Toys, and this is the Poison Cherry exclusive um, from a gallery they did a, about a, a month or so ago. Everything. And it's 100% um, hard resin, and it's see through. So you can see through it. It's transparent. It has a little glitter and crap on the inside. And um, I don't know. I think he's awesome. I think he's really cool. So. It's uh, super interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this figure, I think some of his other figures, but mainly this figure, I'm pretty sure was inspired by like old school um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Like especially a lot of the bad guys are really just kind of like deformed and, yeah. and like really crazy and creepy and weird looking and everything like that. So that's what he kind of used as inspiration to, when he was designing this figure. Like that. You gotta do the you gotta do the light test. Gotta yes. See yeah. Like. Everybody's got. <laughs> oh, oh, I feel like yeah. the translucent figures. A lot of time, that's the only way I get their detail. But this one's really like I can, especially like looking at it down here. There's a lot of shadow and like other lights. So it makes it really hard. But I hold it up here, it comes in clear as day. Yeah. yeah. God, it looks so nice. Yeah, it does totally remind me of like uh, old school Ninja Turtle stuff. Yeah, well, who's the guy that you could pour like the the ooze into the back of his head and like come out of his mouth? Oh, and stuff like I know that? exactly what you're <laughs> talking about. Freaking too. disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that guy was awesome. Yes, he was the bomb. Muck dude. man. It was muck the muck. Man. That's it. Yeah, it was the muck man. That's a, that's who he reminds me of. He reminds me of the muck man. So, so I don't know. I, I think this guy's cool. Um, now, granted, I would like a, a little bit of articulation, but they, yeah. they've actually talked about, like, they, they might um, they might make a, a couple of them with some articulation, like a little bit of articulation. But. That'd be cool, because I think I'd be really happy, even if, like, his just his arms could move or something, because that's the thing mm -hmm. that's killing me. Like, he's, like, got his little club arm there. Yeah. I'm like, man, I wish I could just move it up or something. Yeah, move it up. Or have, have the one hook arm, like, yeah, sticking well, out or whatever. But like overall, he's pretty cool. Very much so. Yeah, yeah I dig him. Dig now, him. um... This figure is exclusive. I'm not, I can't remember if it's still available for order, um, but they do have different color color works available for order. They have clear ones. They have um, solid color ones, and also you can um, and they they range about fifteen to eighteen bucks a pop. And then, or you can order a custom painted one that's painted by Hat Bad Toys, um, and they're about forty five bucks. And they do a fantastic job painting these. So. Um, if you have an extra 45 bucks, I would highly recommend going to their website and ordering a custom one because mm -hmm. um, those things look awesome. And uh, But they do have like a, a crystal clear one for sale still, which is sort of like this guy only. This one is red. So, yeah, I think so. Very I don't know. I like him. I, I like the detail of him. I think he looks really cool. Very cool. Oh. You know, they made him, they made the figure just from like a, a structure standpoint and like artistic kind of standpoint. Um, they really even everything out. He's got this big giant club hand on one side. How do they even out? 
They give them the big claw hand, and they also give them a larger foot. Oh, yeah. And that doesn't just help out visually. That also helps out with stability of the figure. Mm -hmm. Because if you notice, one leg's smaller, one leg's bigger to make up for that weight difference. Mm -hmm. And he's definitely, um, he definitely stands up really well. I mean, you can pretty much yeah. just plop him down anyway, and he'll he'll stay there. You don't have to really fin it, you know, like move him around or, or, or make sure your the surface is completely flat in order for him to properly stand up. So anyway... Um, yeah, I mean, we can get on the review on this guy if you want to. Let's get to writing it. I think it's pretty cool. There's no box or packaging or anything like that, so we can't open them. He's opened. He came wrapped in bubble wrap. He's pre wrapped? So, pre wrapped in bubble wrap, yeah. <laughs> Just so I like him. All right, cool. So we've taken some time to get to know this figure a little bit better, and we feel mm -hmm. comfortable with rating it now. Uh, I'm going to start the ball rolling, talking about the value of the product. Uh, what did we find this was online? Like, I think it's like 15 to 18 I'm 15, pretty sure it's closer to 18 but Yeah, probably sure. closer to 18 But 15 to $18 for this thing online. You can buy it from, uh, where, where's it available? Hat Bad Toys. Hat Toys right now. Mm -hmm. When you purchase it online, you get it shipped to your house. Super cool. Um, for us, on our end, we're more of the mass market toy, so it's a little bit salty, the prices, um, for us. But, I mean... This is really something that's made more for a collector toy market and for a designer toy market. Yeah. Um, so at that, that price point, it's pretty cheap. I mean, it's a really good Very price, and you get a really yeah. great quality product. You can go on and get these things custom painted for like 40 bucks, mm -hmm. um, and you can have a one-of-a-kind piece for your collection, which is a great value. Um, so overall, for us, from our point of view, uh, we gave it a 7.3. Like I said, a little bit salty on price, but not bad. Yeah. Very good. Yep. I did appearance. Now, for appearance, we gave it an 8.2 overall appearance. Um, we love the color. In fact, it, for me, it kind of reminds me of, like, the, um, out, Aftershock, the liquor Aftershock. Yeah. If you ever had it, it's like cinnamon liquor or whatever. It has a bunch of sugar crystals on the bottom of it. Um, so we love the color. We think it, we think it's really cool with the red and everything like that and the glitter on the inside. Um, and we definitely like the, the sculpt of the figure. We think he looks amazing as far as the detail um, that went into sculpting this guy. And um, just the overall appearance of the sculpt. Uh, one thing that we didn't quite like about it was, and pretty much you, you run into the same time you, you release a uh, translucent figure, is it's under normal lighting, it's very difficult to see the detail of this figure, and it kind of just looks like a blob. Um, but if you hold him up to the light, or you have a lot of light like shining directly on the back of him or something like that, he looks great. Um, but the problem is, you know, with and that's with pretty much any translucent figure, is you lose a lot of the detail um, by making it translucent. So that's really about the only thing that we did not like about it was the fact that it is di very difficult to see the, all the... Um, the detail and stuff like that, but if you get one that's custom painted by Hat Bad Toys, they look amazing. Yeah, you know, you I mean, you can just, yeah, you can see every little every little detail. But this particular one is translucent and it's a little harder to see. There you go. All right, I got quality tonight. Um, for quality, we gave this figure a total of eight point seven. Uh, to be honest, it's built like a brick shit house. <laughs> this thing's yeah. pretty sweet. Uh, you know, it's quite solid, good resin. I mean. I don't really see any problems with workmanship, so it's a great mm -hmm. figure. So 8.7. 8.7. Overall, we gave it an 8.1. Uh, very solid score. Um, value, it is a little bit pricier for what we're like, used to paying, um, but if you're into art toys or designer toys or stuff like that, then that's a drop in the bucket for you. Yeah. Um, so they lost a few points for that, but overall, the sculpt, um, design, you know, pretty much everything, the quality is, is great, so... Yeah, that's awesome. I can't wait to see more stuff from them. So, 8.1. Up next on the toy review, we have DC Universe Wave 16. <laughs> Dick Grayson Robin. I mean, Tim Drake Robin. I mean, Jason Todd Robin. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> she did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, this figure is based off of the uh, Jason Todd incarnation of Robin. This guy was from the 1980s. And he was brought in as a replacement for Dick Grayson because they decided to move Dick Grayson on to become Nightwing. Mm -hmm. Where's my crowbar at? Beat him in the face. <laughs> and, uh, unfortunately, uh, Jason Todd died all in the 80s. Uh, he was never very popular with the uh, diehard Robin fans, so they killed him off. Joker blew him up. But they brought him back uh, in the early 2000s in a storyline called Hush by Jeff Loeb and uh, Jim Lee. And he's back now. As well, he's kind of crazy, but I like him. Whatever. He's of course got the newer uh, DC Universe packaging, which is yep. much larger. And air holes. 
Yeah, air holes to make sure that you can breathe while he's sitting on the shelves. Yeah, you know? They're toys, but you still got to treat them like people. You do. Or hamsters. Yeah. And he comes with a piece <laughs> of Bane. Oh, it would be the second piece of Bane that we have. Because we have the leg. Yeah. With the leg from the... Uh, this one comes with... Uh, Azrael figure. Yeah. yeah, this comes with, like, what, lower torso, I think? Yeah, lower torso. Mm-hmm. Now, the big difference between this figure and the uh, Dick Grayson Robin figure is actually the head. Dick Grayson and Jason Todd have number one, different hair, number two, different eyes, number three, different mouth. Mm-hmm. Now, this one isn't actually listed as a Jason Todd Robin. It just, he looks just like Jason Todd, Todd, so therefore everyone, well, no, it's safe to assume that he's Jason Todd. Or does it say on the back? back of the box, I think it says Jason Todd. Dick no, Grayson. Dick, Dick Grayson? Okay, my bad. Well, then, uh, yeah. How's, yeah. That, how's that humble pie toast, Jay? Okay, it might be. So that no, is, I'm uh, just, that does say Dick Grayson on the back. It says Dick Grayson, but it looks like Jason Todd. So. Well, it is, it is Jason Todd. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Mattel even said so. God knows Mattel can't make a mistake. God no. knows. <laughs> God knows. <laughs> Only in manufacturing. <laughs> Overall, I like this figure. I like the pose that he's in. The whole, like, grappling hook and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, that's what I like. The action pose, you know. Yeah, that's the cool thing about the uh, new packaging. Mm-hmm. They're not just standing there like, like- a... Yeah, I like the fact that yeah, you have a dynamic pose, and you can also see like the whole figure um, before you buy, which is nice. It gives you a chance to review it and package. Yeah. If you're like me or Jay, um, you like to go out in the store and like basically pick which one you 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 know like to find a couple, so you can kind of pick the best one and make sure you're getting the best quality. Mm-hmm. And this uh, really allows for that a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're if you're um, a diehard in package collector, you know these are perfect because you know you kind of get like the the um, the benefit of not only keeping them in package, but you also get the benefit of um, have them displayed. Yeah, have almost them posed. Right? Yeah, have them posed and everything, and like an action pose instead of just standing there like a, you know, like a, a zombie or statue. Or, whatever. <laughs> or well, they normally sit up like this. If it's a Mattel package, it's probably like this. Yeah. With the legs like bowed in. Yeah. <laughs> well, it should be bent in, but it's really yeah. bent at the back of the package. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, well, I think we should get them open and check them out. Yeah, let's yeah, talk to it. it. All right, outside the package, I don't know. I think this guy looks awesome. I like um, I like this era of Robin anyway, and I think this is a good addition to any Batman lineup that, or collection that you have. So. Totally. Uh, you know, it's the classic look. It's something that fans have been waiting for. Yep. Yeah. Now, I don't, I don't know about the boots, though. Or the little bootsies or sock <laughs> little, feet or whatever he has. The little pixies, they definitely yeah. have their time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're a little bit too, like, 60s for me, I think. I, I think for more of a modern Robin, I think he probably should have got rid of those. Maybe he puts some pants on, too. I, I think the... the <laughs> you definitely stand to wear some pants. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see how a guy would feel comfortable just running around in a little... Yeah, right. Suit. No, what if he got, like, a, got a wedgie or something, yeah. Right, I think it definitely... Well, you know, it's one of those things that definitely goes back to the time. This is the 80s, and even though it was the 80s, most artists were still trying to draw like it was the 60s. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, I mean, like, seriously, man. like, it, it took a long time for people to come in and start to innovate just because... Well, the 90s. The and guys, yeah. yeah, the 90s. Well, until yeah. the 90s came in and guys like Todd McFarlane were like, all right, let's update this shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I still like there. I still have mad love for this costume because this is the Robin that I kind of grew up with as a child. Mm-hmm, exactly. like, you know the old '60s Batman TV show that I used to watch for like, yeah. the cartoon show, the old like Super Friends stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's what was in the yeah. comics forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's you know I know it's kind of weird and unmanly, yeah. but he's like, well the new generation is kind of boy. Yeah, the new generation is more used to the um, the Teen Titans version of Robin now. Yeah, I think, where he's you know. always worn around his green. Green tights. Yeah. Or yeah. now, if you want, which I like that. I like that version of Robin, but this, yeah, is, this is awesome. still my yeah you know, my favorite type. And I like this hairstyle too. I um, better than like the um, yeah, like the just a parted or yeah, parted just that side yeah, you know, sixty seventy side part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So ready to go, ready to go. Fight some cocaine dealers, Batman. <laughs> All right, little buddy. <laughs> yeah. Don't you break too many arms. Oh, Josh, shucks. Yeah. Gee, mister. Gee, mister. And Jason Todd was more like, Jesus Christ, boy, what the hell did you do in here? Yeah. I told you to bust up the drug meeting, not kill everybody. Or not, yeah. not leave them with heads caved in. 
Now this guy, he comes with a grappling hook, so you can hang <laughs> hang him from something, whatever you want to hang him off of. Ooh. Oh, maybe. <laughs> or maybe, yeah, maybe not. If he can stand um, hold on. And he has um, excellent posability, too. Like, he has a lot of points of articulation. You can easily move him around. His feet do go um, almost completely back. Um, but you you realize there was an issue with the feet as far as standing him up and yeah, stuff goes. Yeah, uh, it seems that on these figures on the left foot, on... I've had, I've got two. I've got this one, the Jason Todd, and I've got the Dick Grayson. And I've noticed on both of them, this left foot's kind of bowed out funky, so it's very hard to pose them. Right foot's okay, left foot sticks out weird. So I was having just the hardest time getting him to stand up straight earlier. Oh, there we go. That one too bad. Yeah. But um, that makes it a little bit difficult. Mm-hmm. Matt, you mean? What do you think? What do I think? Oh, gosh. I should probably mention the battery. He's oh, yeah, battering battery battery. that we haven't taken out of his hand just because I know it won't stay in once we take it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm leaving a little dealy on it. Yeah. But, yeah, I think, I mean, pretty much everything's already been hit on. the uh, You know, some little paint defects here and there. Mm-hmm. Um, again, it's, it's kind of weird that his um, his legs are a different color. Are they? Yeah, the, the, the thigh and then... Oh, yeah, wow. You look at that in the right light. Yeah, this one's a little... This one's, like, darker, more olive, and this one's... His knee's just, a different color on this foot. And like, oh, oh, my God, that is yeah. just... Definitely mentioned but his, But yeah. his thigh is, is... That's, like, wow. When you actually... Like, See, if you look at both thighs, they're different colors, and the knees are, are different colors, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, one's a little bit more skin... It's, like, skin tone, skin tone, plastic. Yeah. Skin tone, skin tone, skin tone. Yeah, that is funny. Yeah, you should definitely That's weird. That. That's shitty. All right, I'm going to start the ratings off on this figure. I got value. Uh, this figure runs about fourteen ninety nine anywhere you go. Mm-hmm. That's av- that's the same price as always for a DCUC figure. Our uh, total value score was seven point seven. Uh, a little bit pricey, and you know Jason brought up a good point earlier. You know if you're going to pay fifteen dollars for a big figure like, for instance, Asriel Batman with uh, all all those uh, all that cool uh, gadgetry and everything put on him. I don't think that uh, a sort of bare bones figure should go for the same amount. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I'd I'd like that'd be interesting to see. Of course, that means it can go the other way too. You got to figure with a bunch of accessories, and they'll charge you fifty bucks for it. Yeah. Exactly. But so. that's just something I thought's interesting to consider. So all in all, we figured this guy is is that's the average price on these guys. Mm-hmm. Good all around price. If you really like the Jason Todd figure, go get this because you'll have lots of fun with him. Now I did appearance. Uh, for total appearance, we gave him an 8.5. Um, we like the underoos almost, the detail on his, his little. Uh, uh, never mind, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, his bomb. Yeah. We, we, oh, his little bomb. We didn't like uh, the feet and the boots. Um, <laughs> obviously, there's issues with him standing straight up, um, his one foot being but a little bit, but also the little pixie boots. I mean, come on. Well, I mean, that's the, that's what the character looks like. Yeah, no, you can't really I don't know. change what the character accurately represents. You could. Because he's Robin. They changed his head. Because that's how he looked. Yeah, <laughs> that's Jason Todd Robinson. <laughs> Not in the 60s, though. He wasn't around in the he 60s. He wasn't around in the 60s, you're right. That's but that's how he looked in the Robin. 80s still. <laughs> anyway, I thought for appearance-wise, regardless of the Robin, I think the boots look stupid. So. <laughs> they can at least like not include the, like, the, 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 point, on the, the point on the bag. Maybe they could have... Uh, Make him so fairy. Well, you know, if yeah. PC, if uh, Mattel decides to do a Peter Pan action figure, they basically got it ready. Well, that's probably one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, or Green Arrow. They can use this for Green Arrow. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but overall, the appearance looks good. He's very accurate to the character. The detail on the figure looks great. If you like traditional-looking Robin figures or, care, you know, anything, I would definitely recommend picking him up because he definitely looks awesome. So, 8.5. Alrighty, cool. Last qual- uh, last mention here is quality. Uh, this guy got an 8.0 all around. Some of the key points, um, you know, he looks good, nice detailing here and quality on the sculpting. Uh, but really the biggest problem is this bowed out uh, left foot. It makes it impossible to, to have him stand up. And then also he's kind of mired here in a couple different paint defects on his cape. He just, yeah, he's just he's got dirt. He, he's got dirt from call, crawling out of his grave. Yeah. Yeah. here, and then also a little spot on his mask, which makes it look like he's crying because he's yeah. a sensitive boy. Yeah, he has issues, and some of his body parts all match up. Yeah, exactly. Like we were yeah, that about, was the other one. We his thighs are not the same color on each side, nor do they match the rest of the leg. There's actually 
two or three different shades of flesh tone on here and on his arms. Yeah, and his one knee. And, you know, while I'm looking, let's check the neck, too. That, those actually match. Yeah, there neck and go. face actually match. Holy cow. But, uh, you know. <laughs> Holy cow, Batman. Holy flesh tones, Batman. Gene Willikers, Batman. <laughs> G Willikers. Jumping G Willikers. Jumping, Jumping jelly, jelly, jelly beans. <laughs> yeah, you can do cool stuff like that, so <laughs> that redeems it. So yeah, 8.0. <laughs> Alright, All right, what was the grand total, man? So the uh, final score on this guy was 8.1, so hurry out and buy him now um, before the Joker toys go out and kill him. Cool. Alright, this has been another fantastic, exciting extravaganza of an episode of Fuck. Atomic Martian Toy Reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't forget to check out some of our sponsors, uh, RadarToys.com. Who else we got? We have the official sponsor. We have affiliates. We have tons of affiliates. Well, we got Tenacious Toys. Tenacious Toys. Yeah. T-shirt Bordello. Yeah, T-shirt Bordello. Yeah. Entertainment Earth. You buy it at Toy Store? No, we don't. Nah, it's fuck them. Fuck BBTS. Yep. Bunch of Thanks, assholes. Suck, it. suck my dong. Um, so and some other people. random places that you can buy cool stuff at. Well, so that's fine. Streaming somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> check us out on YouTube. Check us out. You probably are checking us out on YouTube right now. Yeah. Check <laughs> us out at our page, www.atomicmartians.com. That's right. Yeah, we update it pretty regularly with um, toy news, reviews, just different stuff. All so. things geeky. It's in the name. It, it is. It's true. Well, it's not really in the name. It's in the slogan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we don't really talk about anything else geeky other no. than toys for the most part. Wait, friend us on or like us on Facebook. You can friend us too. You can friend We're us. We're all on Facebook. Go. You can hunt us down to find us. We can yeah. all be friends. Why not? Why follow us on Twitter. Because yep. let's face it, who else are you following? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's it. And you can buy the uh, Tom Crone original T-shirt off our website. So if you if you want to, looks like I'm trying to fan you know, your nipples. If you want an official <laughs> Atomic Martian Atomic Martians T-shirt. Go to TommyMartian.com and order the shirt. This yeah. is awesome. Get the shirt and then wear it on Casual Fridays. That's right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Wear it to church. Even better. Peace. So. All right. Peace out. out.